in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create this book cover design on game it's really good for practice how you can achieve this kind of result and game right first go to file new and I set to the size and I change it to portrait size right click OK next go to file open these layers and choose this image click open and just click keep and press shift s to scale it down hold control only press enter all right and you can adjust it with move tool all right get to fall open these layers open another image again and click keep and shift s Hold Ctrl only to create a proportional scale. Right, place the water lid from here. Okay, you can hold Ctrl to make it unproportional. So just don't be afraid to work on the bitmap image center. And we move tool again, you can adjust it. Alright. In fall, open these layers and I choose this. Just click keep. Alright, and you can scale it down by pressing Shift S and hold Ctrl only to create a proportional scale. Place it to the top. Make it unproportional by holding shift. And press enter. Okay, you can move layer to the bottom. And now, let's see. You can create a layer mask, so right click, add layer mask. Choose this white full opacity, then hit that. Okay, click the layer mask and with pen brush tool press P and make sure the black color in the front to hide the object and you can click this to reset the color right you can increase the size and make the hardness to zero and try to brush it so we only need this water lid And add layer mask again. Right click, add layer mask. Choose this white fill pasty, then hit it. So, with pen brush tool, make sure the black color in the front and brush it again. Okay, next, what I'm going to do to match the color from this top color, from the top image to the bottom. Okay, go to colors, choose color temperature. You can adjust it until it's close to the bottom color and try the hue saturation too you can increase and reduce the hue just make it close to the bottom image okay click ok after that use curves you can turn it down a little just make it match and click ok and with pen brush tool again, I want to hide this part. Right. And on here, you can try the color temperature again. Let's try to make it close as possible. Click OK. And I want to move it with move tool to make a nice adjustment. You can press shift S to scale and hold shift to make unproportional scale. All 
correct okay next add text press t and type and you can change the color to white and you can bring, bring layer to the top to see the text change the font to this let's turn off the spacing and you can increase the size okay with the move tool place it on the top on the water lid and go to filter distort and click ripple effect you can adjust it right after that you can add layer mask add and again press p with pen brush tool you can change the size okay so brush to water lid you can change the color to white to refill the shape pet tool press b try to follow the water lid Okay, and hold control then click and press enter. While in selection, go to select and choose float. Create new layer. Okay, let's see the result. And now on this layer, the bottom called text layer, you can reduce the opacity a little. We're going to hide it with layer mask. So right click at layer mask, choose this white full opacity, then hit it. With pen brush again, press P and swap the cards the black in the front and brush it and add some text again press T and type telephone to Turn the text to white and make it 509 and make some ripple effect like before and go to filters distort and choose the ripple can reduce the amplitude and the angle let's make it to the bottom the shift and the periods and let's reduce the opacity same like this bow now I want to create some of the vignette effects so create new layer and I made okay and go to filters on these layers and go to filters like in shadow choose the vignette so what the fitness does it's some darker on the corner some dark corner let's try to do the softness and the radius and you can still add more so I want to create manually with pen brush in here create new layer and limit Fignet 2 so with pen brush tool and with hardness 0 you can increase the size make sure this Fignet 2 is above this layer and you can 
reduce the opacity a bit too much. For the leg, so I just duplicate it and make some blurry effect. So, but first you have to, you see this boundary says, if I go to filter blur and just the Gaussian blur, so until this max and click OK, you see the result is boxed, right? So to prevent that, right click, just the layer to image size, and go to filters, blur, and just the Gaussian blur. You can increase the size, but not too much. I think this it's okay. And let's change the mode to overlay. So you see some of this shining evac. I'm gonna increase it the opacity. And from this original lake, do some smudge a little. So but first, don't forget to remove this boundary by going to right click, just layer to image size. So it will become to fit to the canvas. And with smudge tool, you can click this icon or the record H S. Use the size and force. Just make it low number. I think it's eleven. Okay, make sure you are on this original lake layer. It's to like make it low number. It's nice if you give some effect for the cold text too in the floated selection. So right click just there to make size to remove these boundaries. text for the writer name so I press T and type so you see the problem here it's it say it's confirm editing because you do the before layer to image size so, so to prevent that click outside the canvas and type the name okay then move it to here then careful make sure you click on the right layer and let's change the font type to 10 the font to white and make some spacing okay just turn the text a little this is too much You can tweak the final result by going to on the top of the layer, right click, just new layer from visible, new from visible, and go to colors. Let's try adjust the curves. So it will change all. Can do with colors and pressure. Make this color more blue, and of course the color balance. How oh, is it, guys? 
okay that's it i hope you learned something new how you can create this drowning text on game feel free to comment if you have any question thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye